Rabies is a preventable So soil sampling is the process of looking back and looking forward. Farm started back in It was just through that program offered by the Extension Office that I became interested in beekeeping. I'm a lab manager and if there's anything happen to the student so I can administer CPR to save their life. As I mentioned, he has autism, so the socialization is a big key for him. With West Virginia, you know, we can't do large-scale agriculture, but we can do small-scale agriculture. We just have to be smart about it and create systems where it still produce the same quality product no matter where it is. This location, we grow microgreens, shoots, edible flowers, any kind of specialty greens. Um, also, baby greens are coming into the market soon. Really, this is just kind of the test subject for what we hope to be a larger operation to where we can then branch what we're doing here out to any producer around the state and have them equipped and ready to go and be profitable from the very start. 4-H just gives me the opportunity to be myself and to learn new things and just have a great time. I went from a nobody to a somebody. We write every day. Like some of these things up here is I did. What we're teaching them today is how to rescue one of their own. When I was growing up, um, my family, you know, my mom, my grandmother, aunts, uncles, were all very avid gardeners. So we always knew that Extension was a great resource for anybody who um, had a question about um, anything in their garden. Just being around kids makes you feel young. Today's our first teen cuisine. So we had about 30 junior volunteers during the summer. Wasn't sure how it was gonna go and ended up being absolutely awesome. We put onion in the skillet and we fried them and then we put meat in it. Then we stirred it and they put um, some stuff in the pot. Then they put sauce and then we stirred it. <laughs> Then we mixed all of them together at the end, then it, then it was good. <laughs> the fact that they're being taught how to cook, understanding the different ingredients and what it's doing for their bodies is also very valuable. And I think to take away for the family to being able to surprise mom and dad or grandma and grandpa was something that they can make. So that's really exciting. Having um, expert resources at your disposal um, that's really part of the fabric of West Virginia culture and having the expertise of people who've been trained, uh, who are doing research, who are always up to date with current trends, who are there in the community, I think that that is the perfect resource for all our communities in West Virginia. I think it's a very vital, it keeps those communities very vital. Because it makes me very happy to be here.